If you've been living underneath the rock for the past several months, let me educate you on what's been going on. There's a new Five Nights at Freddy's game coming out called Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I am very excited for it. It is the biggest and most ambitious one in the series. It's got ray tracing. It's a, it's, it's, it's in a big mall. It's a very it's a very wow. <laughs> Yeah, but in all seriousness, it's very big and ambitious. They were even at some NVIDIA conferences because of the ray tracing technology that they're using in. It's very awesome. I'm very excited about it. So I decided, you know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this myself because I'm excited and I don't want to wait for the game. So that was fun. So I did that. But the problem is I don't have a model. So then I went to Twitter.com and just scrolling through Twitter, doing my usual thing. And then I found something. I found out that somebody had modeled the atrium or the lobby or whatever it's called from Security Breach. So I decided to go ahead and yoink that. Ha! Huh, it is mine now, thank you very much. So at this point, I started making it really cool with some lighting. I didn't add ray tracing, but I did add some nice reflections and it was really cool looking. But then I got bored, so I added ray tracing. And then boom, I posted on the FNAF subreddit, posted on my Twitter, posted on my YouTube channel. I had this really cool intro. Um, this is not without the ray tracing, but it was really cool. It was like a fan-made cinematic cutscene But then I wanted to go a step further and make it playable So I did that I added the ray tracing with unity's HDRP or high-definition render pipeline But then someone took it upon themselves to create an exterior with an entrance and a hallway leading into the atrium lobby area thing It's so cool Literally golden spoon go follow them at GS studios Y on Twitter go follow them they worked so hard on this, you can tell. And they were really nice to put the download link and make it public for the blend file. But yeah, this is awesome. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go and make this my game. I am struggling for words. So I did that, but there was an itty bit, and I mean really itty bitty, but the lighting didn't work. Yeah, so Blender had an issue exporting the lights for some reason with this specific model when the last one would export with all the lights and materials. So what I had to do, if you don't know what that means, is I had to go blink, 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 and I had to throw some lights here, I had to throw some lights here, and I just had to place lights everywhere in my scene by hand. I had to light the entire scene by hand. It's not that big a deal, it was fun, honestly. <laughs> I'm just exaggerating for comedic effect, but it was fun. Um, and then eventually I threw in a player controller so the player can move and look around. And then we have this post on my Twitter account and my Reddit account. But then I added VR and things got crazy. So let me explain. Um, so I decided, hmm, this player controller isn't exactly enough. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in a VR controller. And I'm gonna make this thing playable in VR since Steelwool won't freaking make this a VR game themselves. It's okay, Steelwool, you're doing your best. But listen. I love anything related to VR, and I'm obsessed and I'm really excited for Security Breach. So, the two mix like butter, like bread and butter or something, I don't freaking know. But it works really well, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this result. Now, without further ado, it's time for the final result. I'm very excited with how this turned out, and um, thank you all guys on the on, on the FNAF subreddit, on um, Twitter, on YouTube, stuff like that, on Discord. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go now, but uh, this has been cool. I'll see you guys in the next video, because I'm going to try <sighs> I'm gonna have something soon for you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.